We have been discussing the Fermi Paradox on this channel for some time now, but have yet to tackle one of the most interesting solutions to the paradox, that being that the universe teems with all manner of life, so strap in and prepare to do some deep thinking. When asking the question, where are all the aliens, by all accounts there should be some signs of life in the universe, due to the overwhelming statistical likelihood that something is out there, because of how many potentially habitable worlds that there are. Worlds that have very similar atmospheres, gravity, and water, as well as many other factors that would make a planet ideal for harbouring life. Let us say for the sake of this video, that we discover evidence of life on another world, whether that be through us discovering biosignatures or technosignatures that may indicate that a planet holds life or a technologically advanced civilization. It is interesting for us to think whether there are civilizations out there that we may not be able to comprehend due to the possibility of how far ahead their technology is from ours. We could be seeing Kartashev Type 4 and 5 civilizations and not even know it because of the huge gap in knowledge compared to them that we have. What would it mean for us having civilizations that can not only manipulate entire galaxies, but the entire universe, or perhaps even multiple universes? Or is there some kind of cosmic level of technological advancement that we cannot pass due to how much resources there are available to us in the universe. While this is a peculiar thought, we could just flip that thought on its head by adding that the universe could be infinite. While that may not necessarily mean that resources are infinite, we should take the possibility into account when thinking about advanced life in the universe. Would civilizations that get to a certain level of advancement, where they become a spacefaring civilization, have a positive moral complex? where they take into consideration other life in the universe and want to prolong that life and help out as many species as possible? Or would civilizations that get to this level have no moral or ethical code when it comes to other life? They may look to destroy it at all costs to protect themselves from going extinct. I can definitely tell you which civilization I would rather have showing up here on Earth, am I right? While we have thought about kind civilizations and evil ones, we have yet to discuss alien viruses and diseases that could be transported to the planet through panspermia or possibly placed here by a civilization who wants some new real estate. These viruses would likely be devastating on Earth, as we could possibly have never seen a virus like this before, and there may be precious little that we could do about it causing life to go extinct on Earth. If the universe teems with life, then this could hold some possibilities of how life originated on planet Earth. We could have an ancient aliens hypothesis or zoo hypothesis type situation going on. Both of these are solutions to the Fermi Paradox and I have covered them on this channel before. It is very interesting to think about whether we could exist due to an alien civilization placing microbes on the planet to study and see how complex life will arise, to learn more about evolution and the nature of life. This brings one question to light, and that is how advanced could civilizations become over a period of 13.8 billion years? When we see how far the human race has come over a period of around a couple of hundred thousand years, and now how far technology has come over the past 50 years, it isn't too hard to imagine that if life arose near the Big Bang, then they are likely very, very advanced if they are still out there. When we sit outside at night and observe the universe and focus our perception on imagining other beings on other worlds looking out into the universe with the same wonder that we have, we can be happy with the knowledge that perhaps one day we may receive contact from a civilization. Thank you all for watching for this new instalment into Solutions of the Fermi Paradox. I really appreciate you all stopping by. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications to stay up to date.
We have much more to discuss about the Fermi Paradox, life in the universe, and the complex nature of the reality that we exist in to discuss on this channel. Before I leave you today, my beautiful deep thinkers, I will give you my own thoughts on this whole situation that I've been discussing in this video, being that if life teams within the universe that we live in. Uh, I personally believe myself that, that this could be definitely one of the more likely solutions. Uh, I, I do believe that due to the distances of space, uh, due to how we perceive time and, and the fact that when we're looking out into the universe we're seeing the past, when we're looking up at space we see the past. You know, for ones that are really far away from us, planets, stars, you know, all this stuff that's really far away from us, it's quite hard to determine, like, you know, it's quite hard to establish communication and determine, you know, whether life is on that planet due to the fact that, you know, we're seeing the, the star system from 100,000 years in the past. You know, if we're looking in the Andromeda galaxy, we're seeing it as it was 2.5 million years ago, like, they're not, they're, like, if, if someone from the Andromeda galaxy is looking at us from 2.5 million years ago, they ain't seeing nothing about the human race, like, at all, like, they're not seeing anything to do with humans so you know we, they, they'll have that bio signatures that, that life exists on the planet but you know it, it all depends whether they actually care about going to see anything that's not technologically advanced may even also be too difficult for them to go out into space and journey all this way just for contacting another species uh, in the universe the universe is far too big for a lot of traveling you know you got to kind of stick to your galaxy, I would say, depending on how we, whether we can discover anything that makes us go very fast. Because you have to go very fast, you know, to get to places or places or jump points or something like wormholes or something like that. Because, you know, this universe is way too big to be traveling through like 100% for sure. But these are my views on it myself, talking a little bit more freely than, than the scripted nature of it. Because, you know, I thought I'd add my little thoughts into it on the end. But what I do is I really appreciate every single one of you, like I said before. Much love. Peace out. Have an absolutely amazing day. I love you. Goodbye.